Trigonometry. All right, here we have a right angle triangle. And we have an angle. And I'm calling this angle theta. All right, and this is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. Okay, it's the longest side. It's opposite to the, to the right angle. It's the only side that doesn't contain the right angle, right? And if we're looking at this angle, this is the opposite side to the angle, right? If you, so if you walk away from that angle, it's the first side you smack into. All right. Then we have the adjacent side, okay? So the hypotenuse is adjacent to this angle. It's beside this angle, all right? But the adjacent is also adjacent. It's just the hypotenuse already has a name. It's called the hypotenuse, okay? So this is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side. And the opposite side and the adjacent are respective of this angle. Okay, so if you're looking at this angle, that's the opposite of the angle. Looking at this angle, well, that's the hypotenuse, so this one must be the adjacent. All right, now we have three ratios that we're going to look at. We're going to look at the sine ratio. Sine is always the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Okay, so sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Another ratio that we can make is we can make the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and that's called the cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. And we have another one, um, which we call the tangent function, or the tangent ratio, is going to be the tangent of theta is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, we also have the inverses of all of these. You can have hypotenuse over opposite is... Uh, is cosecant, and then we have the hypotenuse over the adjacent is secant, and then we have adjacent over the opposite is cotangent. So we have a whole bunch of these other things that we can do, but we're just going to talk about these three. Okay? And there's a nice little mnemonic device for remembering these. Uh, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine, opposite, hypotenuse. So, and then cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So Ka, C A H, right? Cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent, T O A, Toa. Okay? So, Ka, Toa. If you remember Soka, Toa, then you're going to remember sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. All right? All right, so what are we talking about with these ratios? Well, let's go and have a look. If you have a triangle, I'm just going to make a 60, 90, 30 triangle. So this is 30 degrees, that's 60 degrees, this is 90 degrees. Okay, and in this case, I'm going to make my hypotenuse 1. All right? Now, in a equilateral triangle, look, if I made this, this is 60, and if I doubled it, and this became 60, and we had a triangle coming down here, then all the sides would be 1, right? So that side would be 1, and this side would be 1. But as it is, this is half of that triangle, right? This is half of an equilateral. So if this is 1, this side has to be a half, okay? And then if you use Pythagorean theorem, this side is going to be like our b side. So b squared is equal to c squared take away a squared. So 1 squared is 1. Take away 1 half squared is 1 quarter. 1 take away a quarter is 3 quarters. So the square root of 3 quarters is going to be um, root 3 over 2, okay? And there we go. All right. One. We're just going to make it um, yeah, 3.5 times the size. So I'm going to multiply all these sides by 3.5. So if our k factor was 3.5 to get from this one to this one. So three point, the half of 3.5 is going to be 1.75. But if uh, 3.5 times root 3 over 2 is 3.031089. Okay? So this is 3.5 times the size of that one. All right, let's look at the different trig ratios, right? So sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of 30 degrees is going to be 1 half over 1. All right, and then 1 half over 1 is 1 half or 0.5, right? The cosine of theta is going to be the adjacent, okay? So this is the adjacent, so that's the opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. So it's going to be root 3 over 2 over 1, okay? Which is root 3 over 2. Uh, which gives us point, approximately 0 0.866025, and it goes on forever because it's irrational. And then we have the tangent of 30 degrees. So tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. Okay, and so that's going to be 1 half over root 3 over 2, right, which is going to be 1 over root 3 
uh, which we then rationalize, and I'll show you this later on, uh, which we rationalize to root 3 over 3. Okay, so tan of 30 is 1 half times 2 over root 3. Okay, the problem is we can't, you know, those two twos are going to cancel, we get 1 over root 3. We can't have a square root on the bottom. Okay, so we have to rationalize this. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the top and bottom by root 3, like that. And we multiply the two bottoms by root 3, it just becomes 3. Okay, but the top becomes root 3, so we end up with root 3 over 3. Okay, and that's how you rationalize. So you can never have a root as your denominator. Mathematicians just kind of chuckle at you if you do. So that's where the root 3 over 3 comes from. And then handy dandy calculator time, you get approximately 0.5773050. Okay, and where this is handy is that if you have any angle, right, so the sine of 30 is always going to be 0.5 regardless of the size of your triangle, right? And so just, you know, the sine of, I don't know, like 32.8 is going to be the same no matter the size of the triangle. I don't know what it happens to be, but you can, we can always just take our handy-dandy calculator and figure that out. Okay, make sure your calculator is set on degrees. And if I take 30 and sine, see, 0.5. But if I take 32.78 and sine, it gives me a different number. But regardless of the size of that triangle, Okay, so the sine of 32.78 is always going to be 0.54141, all right? Okay, so the sine of 30 degrees um, is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse, so 1.75 over 3.5, okay, which is 0.5, just like it is up here, okay? So that's what we mean. Similar triangles, all right? When two triangles are similar, the angles are congruent, all right, but the sides are proportional. All right, so that's what sine, cosine, and tangent are all about. It's those ratios of these, these similar triangles. All right, so the cosine of 30 degrees, it's going to give us 0 0.86025 for this triangle as well. All right, so it's going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so 3.031089 divided by 3.5, and that's going to give us approximately 0 0.866025, as we can see there. All right, and the same with the tangent. So the opposite over the adjacent is going to be 1.75 divided by 3.03189, and that's going to give us 0.577350. And that's it for the trigonometric ratios. Have a good day.